Department of Transportation officials are billing the proposed meter rate increase as a way to ease congestion in the city. Higher prices they hope will encourage drivers to keep it moving or keep their car at home. It's a terrible idea because it costs enough as it is. Most drivers we spoke with don't buy it. It feels like all you're doing is getting um, punished for driving a car and gouged every step of the way. Hey, it's like cigarettes. People pay $15 a pack for cigarettes. They get a park. If, they, if they're used to bringing the cars, they're, they're not subway people. Randy Sokolowski says if you're a regular driver in the city, convincing motorists to use public transit is a tough sell, no matter the cost. New York City has among the lowest parking rates right now compared to other comparable cities. DOT Commissioner Polly Trottenberg says the price changes will involve creating more rate zones to match the parking demand for the roughly 85,000 metered spots in neighborhoods around the five boroughs. Right now, below 96th Street, the price is $3.50 an hour. Between 96th and 110th Street, it's $1.50 an hour. Everywhere else above 110th Street and in the outer boroughs, it currently costs $1 per hour to park at a metered spot. They're hoping to raise the price in heavily congested areas in the boroughs and promote parking turnover in commercial areas. We've been working on different means of tackling congestion in the city, the issue of parking and how we can adjust rates and improve circulation. It feels like there's always a price tag. Metered parking rates here in the city haven't been increased since 2013. DOT officials say look to see the prices go up by the end of this year. In Park Slope, Brooklyn, Janelle Burrell, CBS2 News.